Hi, Bill Cates here, and welcome to your short course on getting more referrals and introductions. In this short course, lesson one, we're going to teach you how to get referrals and intros without even asking for them. The second lesson, we're going to show you how to approach clients' referrals and introductions without begging, without pushing, and how to actually turn those referrals you do get into real introductions, real connections with these new prospects, and then make all this stick, creating your new processes and putting your habits in place. That's where the money really comes. In this short course, we'll show you how, who will give you referrals, right? And why will they give you referrals? And how do you become referable early in the relationships? And how do you enhance your referability over time? And what do you do next once you're referable? So if you commit to building a referral-based business, here's what will happen. And you probably already know this. You'll find it easier to reach people. You cut through the noise. You'll start at a higher level of trust. And because of that, your sales cycle will be shorter. Average client will be larger. You'll be more likely to actually follow your introductions in the first place. And we know that referrals beget referrals. You get more high value clients more easily, right? You know that. So what's going on? Why do people struggle with getting more referrals and introductions? Well, it really boils down to a lack of confidence. In the absence of confidence, what do we feel? Fear, doubt, uncertainty. So it's my job to give you the tools to boost your confidence, to move through any fear, awkwardness you may find, right? So what's your upside to this, right? If you haven't already figured this out, it's really important. How much do you make from an average client, a new client? Is it 500, 1,000, 10,000? And how much do you make over the lifetime of that client? Could be pretty substantial. So that's the value of a referral client. How many referral clients did you acquire in the last 12 months? Two, five, 10, whatever it is. What if you could double, triple, or even quadruple? And yes, it's very possible to do that. If you could quadruple that amount, then how much would that add to your income? What income would that produce for you? And what would you do with that additional income? New car, kid through college, whatever it may be, right? So who gives referrals? Well, we found in this study by Julie Littlechild of Advisor Impact that there's actually a very high level of loyalty with satisfied clients, 99%, but a very low level of or correlation of referrals provided from satisfied clients. Only 20% of satisfied clients gave referrals in the last 12 months. But with engaged clients, huge loyalty, right, 100%, and huge correlation with referrals. Who gives referrals? engage clients give referrals that's what we got to go for especially to get referrals without asking for them so how do you become engaged as soon as you can early in the relationship the key is having a process that brings so much value they wanted to share it with others as important as your products are that's not what creates referability that's not what creates engagements it's a process of doing business with you and that's by bringing value so first of all you want to make sure you have great high value questions Get big picture thinking. Ask uh, thought-provoking questions. Teach, educate, right? Big picture, process, very important. Tell them how you're going to stay in touch. Start to reveal your client service model to them that you'll be meeting, that you'll be, you got this newsletter and you'll take them to lunch or dinner once a year and you have a golf tournament or whatever it is, right? Reveal the client service model. This is how you create engagement early in the relationship. And then you want to become super referable, super engaged over time. You do this by having a client service promise that drives your behavior. In the client service promise, two things. Number one, you got to keep bringing value. If you don't keep bringing value, you're no longer necessary. And how do you do that? Well, review meetings, reports, white papers, compliance friendly, of course, value oriented phone calls, referrals to other relevant professionals, a lot of ways to keep bringing value. And then you want to build business friendships, which is really the turbocharger to getting uh, referrals from engaged clients. Client appreciation events, celebration events like their birthday, retirement, anniversary, supporting their philanthropic or community service interests, paying attention to just the little things that are going on in their lives and responding in some simple way, right? Your client service promise will ensure you run a proactive business. Have a client service promise in place. Use your client service promise and talk about your client service promise to others. This is what creates engagement early and over time. Then make sure you're conducting value discussions, soliciting feedback in your relationships. Julia Little has discovered that 40% of people who gave referrals did it because the advisor or the agent asked referrals. And that's actually a pretty good number. But 72% did it because they were asked for feedback. 
You got to ask for feedback. That's what I call the value discussion. The value discussion will reveal any problems. It'll turn unhappy clients into advocates because you handle the problem well and it flips them into advocates. And then you bring the value to life and you generate introductions without even asking. So on a review meeting, for instance, you know, anything not working, anybody drop the ball that I should be aware of. And what is working? How have we earned your loyalty or how do we continue to earn your business? It's really as simple as that, checking in and getting feedback. Now, I did a, a live program for Jerry Adkins in Louisiana. I don't have a photo of Jerry, so I drew a likeness. And we had 41 financial professionals in the room. I did my seminar. Afterwards, Jerry came up. He offered the group $250 in expense money if they held 12 in-person value discussions within six weeks. Now, 16 advisors completed the assignment on time. And of the 16 advisors, they generated 132 unsolicited introductions without even asking. That's the power of the engagement of the value discussion. So getting referrals and introductions without asking for them check. Then we're going to teach you how to get referrals and introductions without pushing or begging. All right. That's the next step. So click the green bar and we'll take you to the next lesson, how to approach clients referrals without pushing, without begging. This has been Bill Cates. We'll see you over at lesson number two. Thanks for watching.